Hello everyone, and welcome to some more horrific news. Uh, this came out just uh, today, I think, or yesterday. Uh, it's just out anyway. No, today. My apologies. I uh, didn't get the hard comment earlier, but we covered it on the talk spot. But here we go. <laughs> some uh, interesting news. So Mickey's Mouse Trap trailer. Uh, Mickey Mouse horror movie slashes through the Magic Kingdom this year. So if you're not familiar, Mickey Mouse, the entity, has just appeared in the public domain. So I think we're getting a similar vibe here to what's happened with uh, Winnie the Pooh that brought that up. So they've obviously had this movie put together and now they're advertising it because they don't want the, the House of Mouse coming after them. But here we go. Oh, it mentions here in article anyway. Winnie the Pooh got his own unofficial horror movie last year with Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And this year, it's Mickey Mouse's turn to unofficially do a little slicing and dicing. It sounds like Leo Lee's there to keep people out of trouble. I think people are afraid to talk about this. <laughs> uh, it's going to be so much fun. If nothing else, just to annoy Disney, this is this movie's going to be worth it. The Mickey Mouse character entered the public domain just yesterday, and already the first trailer has been unleashed for Mickey's Mouse Trap, an upcoming low-budget horror movie that was obviously shot before the character fell into the public domain, but is only being announced and previewed now in Disney. Or sorry, I'll go again. But it's only being announced and previewed now that Disney can't actually come after the filmmaking team. That's clever thinking. Uh, they did the same with Winnie the Pooh, just kept everything quiet. Little rumblings that a movie's coming out, and then um, once it hit the time, boom, here we go. How is Mickey Mouse in the public domain, you ask? Well, it's actually the short film Steamboat Willie, uh, 1928, that entered the public domain this year, bringing Mickey along with it. A Killer Mickey video game was also announced already, which is titled Infestation 88. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Uh, Disney are going to go mental over this. Uh, I, I, do you know what? This is worth it just to watch the fallout. Anything that sticks it to Disney at the moment, the way they've behaved towards the customer base, um, rightly deserved. So yeah, I'm all for this. Even if the movie and the game is terrible, who cares? This is just going to be fun. That's that's my vindictive side coming out. So in Mickey's Mouse Trap, on the other hand, uh, it's Alex's 21st birthday, but she's stuck at the amusement arcade on a rave shift. So her friends decide to surprise her, but a mask killer dressed as Mickey Mouse decides to play a game of his own with them, but she must survive. So they're not going to try, like Winnie the Pooh, to have it actually the character. It's going to be a killer in a mask. Fair enough. I'm good with that. Just a low-budget slasher movie. Bit of fun. It's also not 2020s clunky language and film writing. If it's actually made with a bit of tongue-in-cheek atmosphere to it, I'm all for this. Director Jamie Bailey tells a Hollywood reporter, We just wanted to have fun with it all. I mean, it's Steamboat Willie's Mickey Mouse murdering people. It's ridiculous. We ran with it and had fun doing it, and I think it shows. Cool. No arguments, sir. I'm just... <sighs> Calvin McCarthy, why didn't you get on this? This is... This would have been perfect for 7th Street Productions. I'm disappointed. I would love... This is a movie Calvin would should have made, just in my opinion. But hey ho, uh, here we go with all the actors that I'll have no clue about. But Sophie McIntosh, Callum Schweik, is that Allegra Nuchita, Ben Harris, Demir Kovic, Mackenzie Mills, Nick Busback, and Simon Phillips star in the upcoming Mickey's Mouse Trap. THR notes that the film could be released as soon as March 2024. Stay tuned. Oh, this is going to be just straight out of the traps. Get it out there, and then uh, chaos and shoes. Love it. Mickey's Mouse Trap is the latest in a long line of recent and upcoming horror movies that take advantage of the public domain status of iconic characters, with Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey being followed by an upcoming sequel for starters. Other movies including Cinderella's Curse, Peter Pan Neverland, Nightmare, Bambi the Reckoning are coming soon. Oh, Bambi, right, this is just going to be... Oh, oh, this is glorious. 2024 is going to be the year for cheesy horror schlock that's slapping Disney up the face. What's not the like? Do you know what? Cinemas, you just need to get on board with. These need cinema releases. Seeing the Hollywood machine is not uh, supplying cinemas today. I think all these cheesy, slocky horror movies that are just slapping in the face need to be in cinemas, and we all need to go and see them. Like, even if they're terrible, so what? We'll just have a laugh. At least we know they're just made low budget, just meant to be having fun. I just think it'd be so hilarious if every one of these movies make money, and if not, put in dollar franchise, but at least make enough that everyone's a kick in the bits to Disney, because it's nothing more than what that company deserves. They have just went and bought everything, and trashed them in the ground, and this is the reckoning. Like, Bambi the reckoning, I just think that says it all. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> this is not the fun house. What else is, yeah, that's, it. that's the end of the article. Yeah, nothing else to say except, yeah, looking forward to this. Has to happen. Let's just have a bit of schlocky, low-budget slasher fun and just poke at Disney at the same time. What's not the like? If this, if this is all coming out in 2024, uh, yeah, uh, this is going to be a fun year for the channel. Just If nothing else, just having fun.
<laughs> so there you go, folks. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, keep up the channel. Do the happy clicky things. I'll do it next time. Keep it creepy. Keep it horrific. <laughs>